Hey, we need to tell the projectionists there's sound, but no picture. Oh. One ring to rule them all. So wait, the One Ring is supposed to control everyone who wore the other rings, right? We're told later that the race of men were turned into the Nazgul, but it didn't affect the elves and dwarves at all? Apparently Sauron put on his ring and tried to control the dwarves and elves by yelling, Go Ring, and all he got was sparks flying out of his fingers. What the f*** is Sauron reaching for? Just kill the guy! You have this huge mace for killing! Reading. And I don't expect I shall return. In fact, I mean not to. After Bilbo's unnerving proclamation, Gandalf apparently said, Dude, you need to smoke some weed. And turn them all to stone! Bilbo then said, kids, I'll tell part two of this story next year, and I'll finally finish it the year after that. Because even short stories are best when told in trilogies. When you see Gandalf magically transport like this, don't you wonder why he doesn't use magic more often in crucial spots during the trilogy? What about this ring of yours? Is that staying too? It's in an envelope over there on the mantelpiece. Gandalf should probably know that that's not true because Bilbo had no time to put it in an envelope, but he goes over to the mantelpiece expecting to find it anyway. What the f*** was Frodo doing for the last 20 minutes after Bilbo disappeared? Looking for Bilbo in places other than Bilbo's house? Gandalf sees the freaking eye of Sauron when he stupidly tries to touch the ring, but yet he still needs to do research to figure out what the ring is. Doesn't he have more than enough information at this point to give Frodo a head start before the ring wraiths show up? This is the only time in the movie where the Nazgul just straight up murder a dude. All he said was who goes there and he gets snuffed out. This could have been the guy who knew all things Baggins and they just destroyed their best lead. Yes, Pippin! My point is, he's clearly overreacted! I guess Farmer Maggot gave up? Or at the very least, his side did? Get off the road! Quick! Convenient hiding tree is convenient. Also, this one of the nine is terrible at his job. Isn't the ring supposedly calling to Sauron? I mean, why is he even sniffing? If his nose worked, he clearly would smell the hobbits, or the ring. If the Nazgul can't detect the ring two feet in front of their faces, why didn't Gandalf just find a container for the ring that he could magically seal, or at least lock, and throw away the key so no one could get into it? Frodo wouldn't be tempted to wear it, and no one could possibly detect it, and the road to Mordor becomes that much easier. Then he falls for the old toss-something-to-distract-the-bad-guy trick from every other movie ever. It went from day to night pretty fast here, but maybe that much time has really passed in this case. So if that's true, has the ring wraith been chasing the hobbits for several hours without making one bit of headway? And only now are Merry and Pippin asking what the hell is going on? Bad guy doesn't like water cliché. Peter Jackson tries to one-up M. Knight and Hitchcock by gnawing on a carrot during his director's cameo. If the ring can will itself to land perfectly on Frodo's finger, then why the f*** can't it just will itself to fly off into the air and roll its happy way back to Mordor? How did Sam, Merry, and Pippin know Frodo was up here? They didn't call out to Frodo when he reappeared downstairs, so were they just running around crashing into every closed door until they finally ran into Frodo? At all times they feel the presence of the ring, drawn to the power of the One. Until it's convenient for them not to be drawn to it. If you look really hard, you can see Tom Bombadil in this shot. Either you don't care if Gandalf dies, in which case, just kill him. Or you want to keep him alive for some reason, in which case, don't put him in a prison that basically anyone would die in at the first thunderstorm. I know the Hobbits are here for comic relief, for the most part, at least early on, but damn. Nobody is anywhere near that stupid to light a fire on a tower at night when you're hiding from supernatural hunting machines. Nobody. Also, Strider says he's just going to have a look around when he leaves the Hobbits. Where did he go and how far away? He didn't see the fire immediately and start running back to slap all the Hobbits for starting one? And he didn't notice the Nazgul anywhere while he was looking around? After we've seen them straight up murder people for asking who goes there, the Nazgul finally find the Hobbits and decide to go into a slow attack formation so that Strider can show up in time to save the day. Oh, these bad guys are afraid of water and fire. Wow, so Earth is like the only major element they're not afraid of? He's been stabbed by a mortal blade. You know, the kind that dissolved dramatically after you identify it? Do you know the Athelas plant? Athelas? Kingsfoil. Kingsfoil, ah, it's a weed. Weed is the answer to everything. Ah, oh, I see. Elf horses have turbo mode. Well, we're only an hour in, but it's already clear that good old H2O is the real hero of Middle-earth. Arwen has the ability to summon a tsunami of water horses. What a strangely specific ability. Aquila X Machina. Is there really nothing that Sauron can do about the eagle? Isn't he a powerful wizard? Doesn't he cause a f***ing avalanche from hundreds of miles away later in the movie? He spins Gandalf around and closes doors with his mind, but an eagle is just too tall of an order. Destroy it! No. So Elrond knows this is a ring of supreme evil. All the evil in the world can be ended by throwing the ring in the fire, but he lets Isildur go without a fight. He could have thrown him into the fire and then ran out screaming, Oh no, Isildur fell into the fire. Whatever will we do? Oh, the humanity. You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my axe. You mean the axe you just shattered while trying to destroy the ring? You shall be the fellowship of the ring. Roll credits. Oh, wait. Where did they get sausages? Did they make them themselves out here in the wild? 
Or are they carrying raw meat casings for 40 days without refrigeration and then eating them? So, Gandalf, you tried to lead them over Garadras. These birds have no f***ing clue that that's where Gandalf decided to go. They flew past them. They may have seen them go run and hide, but they weren't around to hear Gandalf say where they were going to go next. Let us go through the mines of Moria. Let the ring bearer decide. What a cop out. No. How does Gimli not know about this? Or Gandalf? This obviously happened a long time ago. Sure, there's no internet or phones, but word should have traveled faster than this. These hobbits over here on the left give no indication whatsoever that a cave troll is about to peek around the corner. Why isn't Frodo's blade glowing right now? Are all the orcs dead? Or right now? Right now there's definitely some orcs close enough to cause that blade to glow blue, right? Gandalf said it was a four-day trip through the mines, but it takes the Fellowship like a couple of hours, if that, to get to the other side. It's a four-day journey to the other side. Eight that are here, yet nine there were set out from Rivendell. Tell me, where is Gandalf? Dude, this movie is three hours. Couldn't you just ask where Gandalf is right off the bat? But the mirror shows many things. Why would the mirror show his friends making troubled glances? What can be learned from that? I could have told you that. He will try to take the ring. You know of whom I speak. I'd love to tell you which person by name, but I'm afraid he'll hear this telepathic communication that only you can hear. Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the dawn! Terrible as the dawn? The f*** is that supposed to mean? Oh, now it's glowing again, and long before the orcs are even in view. The uruk throws a shield at Aragorn's neck that has a neck-sized hole at the end of it. Frodo screams and stares at a drowning Sam for several seconds before helping him. Jeez, how deep can a hobbit reach into the water from a boat? Cast it into the fire! Welcome to Rivendell. Mr. Anderson. Bye bye, boy! Have fun storming the castle! Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye! Let's be able to skewer the wild boar. I think there's more to this hobbit than meets the eye. It reads Here may be found the last words of Joseph of Arimathea. He who is valiant and pure of spirit may find the Holy Grail in the castle of... Uh... 